Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a cash stuffing and we are just going to embrace the chaos. We have a lot happening today. We are stuffing our YouTube check of $950 for last month. We are also switching around some binders. I'm adding some new things. It's gonna be a lot, guys. Go ahead and grab a coffee, get some water, hydrate. I don't know, let's hang out for a little bit while I reorganize and tell you guys what is happening here. Before we even cash stuff the $950, I do have these new binders. I'm so excited about them. I have a very limited amount in my Etsy shop, but I do have these three colors. Let me just tell you guys, because. If we go ahead and mention it, I won't have to chat about it, but it comes with 12 of these sleeves as well as 12 of the savings challenge cards that you want or that you pick from the shop. Again, there's a very limited amount for this first launch. I do love mushroom rings or D rings or what else are they called? Disc? Oh, disc rings. They're not called D rings. They're disc rings or mushroom punch mushroom rings. I love this style, so expect to continue seeing these for me and expect to see more products, especially as we move into paper planner stuff, but hint, hint. Um, but this was just a sort of, I don't know if I would call it a soft launch. I ordered a very limited amount just to see how I like them. I love them, but of course it's going to be a while before I can get more shipped and sent to me. So all that to say, if you like them, go get them sooner rather than later because they won't... Uh, they may go out of stock in the shop for a while. Anyway, they come with um, all of these like open here. And I don't know, they're just really cute. So I'm switching to at least two of these. The reason there is already chaos happening here too though is because I've taken a lot of pictures and things for like putting things up on Etsy or whatever. Um, taking Instagram photos and videos. So I've already kind of played and rearranged with things. I started to put everything back to normal before filming but I was like ah, you know what <laughs> whatever this just is what it is this is our new money to stuff this is money that was already in binders these we are going to be adding categories this is something that's going if I can grab it these are going live on Etsy I guess we'll get all the housekeeping stuff out of the way like right up front but I have launched these if you have opinions on what my next total amount should be let me know but I did make just a black grayscale sort of print because a lot of you guys ask me to not do all the fun colors. We're still going to keep doing all the fun colors, but when I launch things, I'm going to try to put some gray browns, like some more neutral prints in there as well. So this, just so you know, it's all... I'm, it's kind of grayscale, but it looks just black and white. So basically for every single month, it totals to $50. If you have another amount of what you would like for each month for it to total to, let me know. I can make that in an upcoming design. I personally, though, wanted these $50 totals for the end of the month. Here's the color prints. There's January, February, of course, every single month. Why am I going to talk through it? But the colors all change a bit going all the way through like a rainbow style. Okay, there we go. I think I was able to pull out all the colors so you guys can see. I will be using this and setting up a new binder sort of towards the end of this video, so stay with me if you want to hear about how I'm using this and what I'm gonna be using this money for. I'm gonna put this here for now because I want to start out by stuffing bills. I have certain amounts that have to make it into my bills today because we're gonna pull it and pay the bills for April, January, February, March. We're in March, April. <laughs> I have to always think about that out loud. So actually, you know what, let's count this cash make sure we have the 950 before we start shifting things around because I have a feeling it's going to get a little bit chaotic as I stuff bills and do some shifty things. So for our cash stuffing portion of this video, we have $950. I think it's just a little bit over 950, but that is our YouTube income for this month, paying us for last month. If you are a subscriber of mine, if you watch my videos, if you like my videos and comment, thank you so much for this money. This is all because of you guys. I really appreciate that you give me some of your like online time, that you make me a part of your schedule, that we get to chat together and do all of the things. It is truly because of you guys that I have this platform, that I have this money, and that I get to stay home with my boys and live a life that I love. I could say thank you for forever and a thousand ways, but just know I really appreciate you guys for spending this time with me, and this money is because of you. 50, 150, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 
57, 58, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So we have $953 to stuff today. Let's get our rent bills section like back in a binder. I think we're actually going to put it in this blue binder. It was in the red binder. We're shifting our sinking funds over though. So let's put, yeah, see, we still have the penny challenge in here. Um, let's go ahead and put our bills here and let's stuff it along the way. Okay, so for rent, we need 1,400. We have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 500, 556, 57, 58, 59, 51,000. See what I mean by like we're shifting money around? <laughs> we might as well just embrace that this is going to be a little bit chaotic. I'm sorry. 51, 52, 53, 54, 400 towards our rent, 1,400 towards our rent, I should say. So that is covered. We are going to stuff this bills binder first too because I want to make sure it all gets covered. Monthly bills, our monthly bills total about 400. So let's go ahead and make sure we have 400 in here. 51, 52, 50, 51, 50, 200. 220, 40, 60, 80, 300. Okay, the doorbell rang right as I was counting that. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope that your week is off to a great start. I know my videos, my videos are not coming out at sort of their set times like they used to. I'm really working on my schedule, trying to make some balance so I can create new products that have been on my list. So bear with me, maybe this next month, please go ahead and hit the bell button so you are aware when I have new videos coming out. Keep an eye on the channel. I don't want to lose you guys, but just be aware that I don't expect my schedule to stay very consistent. I will be uploading at least two to three times per week. It's just schedule wise, I'm just changing some things up. Anyway, where were we? Okay, monthly bills 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. So we have 400 towards our monthly bills. These are all things that I'm going to be paying in the next couple days, so we absolutely have to get this stuffed. Okay, let's see what is next. Weekly expenses. This is something I want to be $400 ahead on. Healthcare. Oh, other is the car note. I absolutely have to pay the car note. Okay, I'm kind of moving my categories, the order they were in, around a little bit. I'm just going to shift them in order of importance, really. So other is actually my car note. So we're going to put that next because that absolutely has to get paid every single month. We have a big stack of crazy happening right now, but let's see. Okay, so for car note, we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. So 400 for our car note. Looks like a lot of our money this for this cash stuffing is going to go just towards bills. Weekly expenses. I really want to get weekly expenses. 400 ahead. And I had some money cashed up into it. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Let's see. Let me count before we cash stuff weekly expenses. Let me count and see what we have. Because I do want some to go towards sinking funds. I really want to be ahead on my weekly expenses. Like for my grocery money, my gas money for the car, all of that kind of stuff. But I don't want to completely take away from sinking funds in order to make that happen. So it's all been like a little bit of a delicate balance trying to figure out where to put what. You all know what really makes this hard though, is the fact that anytime I have any amount of extra money, I put it towards new products, but then new products, especially if it's like a larger investment, something that I'm purchasing from a manufacturer, I don't get those products until two months later or three months later. So I'm pushing a lot of behind the scenes money out, but I don't see the return on that until much later. And because it's all still so mixed up in my personal money, it always feels very confusing. I really, really, really need to get better about separating, separating personal money from business money. I know y'all don't have to tell me that. I really know. I know. I know. I'm kind of, I've been saying that for a while and I just can't, have not done it. I'm sorry. This desk is shaky. Okay. So y'all see that shake. <laughs> I actually wanted to launch these like months ago, 
but you know it takes a while to get here it took a while to like verify that the product was what I wanted it to be so that's been in the works for a really long time I'm just happy that's finally here and I did just spend some money on some filming stuff so y'all should see my set up like my desk and stuff this shaky desk is going to go I have some stuff coming that's gonna be that's gonna be nice okay we are going to count this money like I said let's go ahead and count it 20 40 60 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 200 210 15 20 25 30 35 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. What was that? 283. So we are not going to completely say that we're not going to stuff weekly money. We're not going to say that just yet. We are going to set this to the side though. And we are doing away with this binder. So if you guys are new, this is a really random video to start out with, I guess. It's a Today is a little bit more chaotic than normal. Just know that. How many times have I said chaotic in this video? But I typically have the I typically have things a bit more organized though. We typically have been just stuffing a bills binder and a sinking funds binder. Well, the sinking funds stuff is now out of here because we're switching to some of our new binders over here. I haven't decided which colors I want to use just yet. I think I'm actually gonna use brown instead of this pink. I don't know, I love this pink. Maybe we'll stick with the pink. We will stick with the pink. We might switch to brown later. And we're actually going to, we're gonna use these with this binder. Okay, so let me take these out because we're gonna need those. Do we need all of those? I don't know. Originally when I was selling these two, I was, I had them listed for 10 of these, but because I realized I was gonna be selling these, obviously there's 12 months, so you need 12 of them. I knew I was going to be using it this way, so I switched the entire listing. If you buy, if you have bought a binder from me already, like if you bought it yesterday as soon as I launched it, the listing when you bought it did say it only had 10 of these with it. I'm sending you 12, okay? So nobody panic, everybody gets 12. 12 savings challenges come with it, and then of course if you buy like some printables or whatever from me, you can use those as well. Okay, I was going to save this for last, but I actually think we will come back to our sinking funds here. We're gonna come to these in just a minute. Let's go ahead and set up this binder because I already know I wanna use a bunch of these fives and ones, so let's go ahead with it. Penny challenge, we're gonna need a new, we're just gonna need something new for the penny challenge. We're gonna set it there for now. Okay, there we go, money is now set up. We are going to be working with our new binders here. I jumped into this video a little more quickly than I normally do. I really hope you guys have been well. Thank you to everybody for reaching out to me. I know there's been a lot happening, guys, in the world, and I don't even want to talk about all of it, but actually after the Mississippi storms, the tornadoes that came through, a lot of you guys have reached out to me. Thank you so much for keeping me in your thoughts, for reaching out. I'm completely fine. The tornadoes happened in North Mississippi. I am in South Mississippi. I truthfully don't even know what to say or how to feel about the storms and the things that are happening in the world right now, but thank you guys for reaching out. It is just, I don't know, it's scary times in a lot of ways, it just is. So I hope that you guys are all well. I hope that everybody is enjoying themselves this week and you are and you're finding some light and some comfort in the world. January, we are gonna stuff $6. I'd like to go through just for every month that I can and put $6. These, like I said, are new printables. Of course, if you buy the print and ship, I can print them on 110 cardstock and ship them to you. Reach out to me over on Etsy in the messages if you're not sure quite how to order or like how to order and get what you need. Also, if you want these cards instead of savings challenges, like when you buy your binder, I can certainly send you these cards instead of savings challenges like shown in the listing. It's just these cards got created today. So of course it's not like up and listed. By the time this video goes live, I'm gonna have to try to have these listed in like the principal section though. Anyway, I am using these cards as kind of an emergency for month to month. Like I would love to have $50 for every single month. And I'm saying it's an emer it's emergency money, but my intention of this actually is for it to be like sitting around fun money. So it seems like every single month something comes up and we're just gonna color this as we chat, guys. Typical, typical, right? 
it seems like every single month there's something going on. Like I live in South Mississippi and there's like a crawfish festival and what are the monster trucks? The monster trucks come through, um, monster jam, something words, y'all words are always difficult for me. You know what I'm talking about? The monster trucks. It, it might be called monster jam. <laughs> It's probably not. Editing me is probably like, oh my god, because I'm going to think of it as soon as I don't need the words anymore. You know what I mean, though. There's always, like, just things happening, be it a festival, be it, like, some little Easter thing that might be, that's coming up soon. So there just always seems to be all of these little things, right? And I don't always have it in my budget but I also don't want to create like a category for Easter and then a category for uh, monster trucks and then you know like a local play that might be happening I don't always want to have that in my sinking funds and my savings challenges I feel like everything gets crowded very quickly when I start creating an envelope for literally everything and sometimes I feel like doing that and I feel like putting an exact label on everything but I feel like it would be equally nice to just have say let's start with fifty dollars fifty dollars to know that I have fifty dollars sitting aside for every single month for some fun that might come up or for a festival that might come up or going to see Christmas lights you know those little things so I'm starting with a fifty dollar challenge and I want to color I want to have $50 for every single month once I've done that I'd like to move the goalpost up to say $100 for every single month or 150 and the intention is that eventually I'll reach an end goal you know like say the end goal for me say the end goal for me is $150 once I've reached $150 then I can start using it as I need it and I will only need to stuff for that month that I'm like currently using. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, but that's how I'm planning on using it. I feel like this would be a great way to save for little emergency funds. Also, let's not forget things that come up very randomly like oil changes and you know, needs for your car or your house. For me, I'm still gonna put categories like that as sinking funds and savings challenges. Again, this is gonna be more like fun money but if you don't have young kids, I don't know, maybe you're not spending as much in the fun money category as I am and you want to save for something like this for more like needs that come up very occasionally, I feel like this could be equally fun for that. So that's how I'm using this. So that's how I'm using needs. Let me know. Let me know how you would use a monthly challenge like this. Also let me know in the comments, like I said earlier, what kind of a denomination you want to see next or like what kind of total you want to see next. My total is $50. Should the next one that I create, should it be for $100, $200, $500, 1000 I don't know. Let me know. And I think majority is just going to win. Like if the majority of commenters are saying they want a $100 one next, that's the one I will create. So majority wins on this. So be sure to comment and let me know. I think I'll create it this week too. Well, it's already like fresh on my mind, maybe even today. Actually, actually I'll probably go ahead and make the next version today because it's not that hard to go ahead and switch that around. And the files for both the 50 and then whatever you guys vote for today, it will all be listed as principles in the shop. So I'm going to go ahead and finish stuffing these and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I don't think I can like adequately put into words just how excited I am about this new binder. Is this not the cutest? I'm going to end up, <laughs> I can already tell, I'm going to end up making a bunch of new products that are like angled this way. I mean trackers. All of my current trackers are like more labeled they are created in like a horizontal format like this, right? Well, this I am so excited about. I hope you guys are equally excited. I think this turned out really cute. I'm trying to create less videos because videos take time to edit and stuff, guys. But I want to put more substance in my videos like this. I know this is a little hectic, but like there's more than going on than just a single cash stuffing. But if I put all of my video together, like if I put more substance in my videos and create just a little bit less of them, maybe two or three per week instead of three or four per week, then it gives me more time to create more product. And y'all don't know just how excited I get about creating new products and launching new designs. So I'm so excited about this one. I guess I should say too. So my thought with this is every single week, I'm going to add at least a two or a four maybe both like we did this week i wanted to like start out strong but if we stuff every single week 
then we will have $50 for every single month before we know it and then move our goal. I don't know move our goal forward. I don't know if my goal yet is to end with say $100 per month in here or if I would like to have $150. But once we've met our goal, then we will be allowed to start spending the money. So May, for example, we would only be replaced we would pull the money in May to have our $100 for our fun money. And then over the next month or two, we only need to restuff the May category. So I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is super fun. So that is going to be a new binder that stays. This is our bills binder. It is going to stay. The only thing we need to do now is I, at the end of the month, I love to, I love to pull some of our smaller bills out of here and actually switch it out for this money because this bills money is going to the bank so we get to go ahead and get rid of some of our smaller bills and put it in the bank while we're putting money in the bank towards the bills anyway so we will stuff some of this this is our new savings challenge binder by the way we're going to keep it in the pink i did not transition into this like with you guys because i did just transition into this to go ahead and film some you know like film tiktoks and stuff so tiktoks i'm not even on tiktok instagram <laughs> is anybody like that's on t tiktok moving over to instagram and youtube now i know there's some like some things happening are we allowed to discuss i don't know if we're allowed to discuss if you know you know so insurance we have 50 100 what am i doing let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and put another 20 into insurance if you guys are liking this longer video, let me know in the comments. While we're talking about it, actually, I'm talking about like changes happening on the channel and wanting to put more time towards products, maybe a little less video. How long do you guys like for videos to be? Tell me an exact number. Like, I don't want to hear like longer or shorter. I want to hear like, I want it to be 22 and a half minutes. Like, tell me exactly how long you guys want things to be. I would love to know because I, um, I hear from you guys a lot that you want longer videos. I tend to on my own, like I tend to make more like 12 to 15, 16 minutes if you guys aren't prompting me. So insurance 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, we're actually gonna pull this money and pull some 50s. So insurance now has, just trust me, trust me that the money is, is doing what it needs to do. Just because it's the last week of the month, we will be kind of switching out some of these lower bills. Insurance for the car now has 50, 150, 205, $205 towards insurance. These little envelopes are so much sturdier than I thought they were gonna be. I thought I was gonna be able to put like a couple bills each in them. I've only been playing with them for the last few days, but I mean, you see I've got a lot of money stuffed in here and so far I haven't had any rip or anything. So that is good news. Back to school, we are going to add Let's add 16 so we can color in the 16 and then we will do the same little money shuffle. So do you guys have anything new and exciting coming up for the new quarter? We are almost in April. So it's a new quarter and I'm very excited to plan. I love planning. So new quarters, new years are very exciting to me. I would love to go on a vacation this next quarter. I don't know money wise if that's going to happen, but we can talk about that more in another in another video, but I really would love love some kind of summer vacation to happen. Back to school, I think this for me is switching mostly to curriculum. Usually it's like backpacks, things for the boys, like fun stuff. I feel like this is gonna switch to a curriculum need since we're homeschooling and they're both homeschooling this year. We added 16, we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. All right, so we have 67. We are going to pull a 50 and, oh, let's take a 10 back. So $67 for back to school. Most likely that means curriculum needs for us for this year. We just have so much stuff. We have so much stuff that we need. Honestly, I already have a lot of our curriculum picked out and we're using it too. We've already switched to some third grade needs for my oldest boy and some first grade needs for my youngest son. Y'all, they're getting big so quickly. It's just, it's alarming. Birthday, we are going to go ahead and add, where's my summer camp? Oh, here's summer camp. Okay. Birthdays, we are adding 20, 40, 60. Let's add $60 from our YouTube money. That's what this is over here. And then let's count it and see what we can consolidate. I'm going to add, I think most, if not all of this to summer camps because I need to pay for that like now, y'all. 
The good news is, the good news about not having summer camps so completely stuffed is that the boys and I really talked it over and we are doing a lot less summer camps than I originally planned. Whereas if this money was all just sitting here for it, they probably would have been put in more. And I guess either way is fine because they do like summer camps, but we're excited to do some other things this year too. Birthday, they now have 50, 100, 50, two, no, no, 50, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. Let's consolidate 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 50, 100, 20, 40, 50. Do you guys like when I consolidate on screen here? I usually do this off camera because I don't want it to be confusing. If anybody is new to cash budgeting, this is not normal, okay? Go watch some of my other videos. It's not usually this confusing. Birthdays, 50, 100, 52, 50, 60, 62. 262, I already counted that. I don't know why I counted it twice. I am actually going to move in front of birthday. I want to go back and pull out summer camps. Summer camp should be up front because, oh, look how easy that was. <laughs> I love these more, new binders like more than I can explain, okay? Um, summer camps is, like I said, something we need to pay now. So let me go ahead and switch out some of these lower bills before we even count 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, let's go ahead and grab some 50s. We're gonna add 20, 40, 50, what all is left here? 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You know what, let's go ahead and add, let's pull 100 from the YouTube check to go into summer camps. And then let's see what we have because that is our next need as in two weeks ago. Summer camps now has 50, 152, 53, 54, 450. I feel like we need about 500. I'm gonna look at my little sheet that tells me what we need. I'm gonna look pretty soon but we are definitely very close to that. We already stuffed birthdays, new clothes. We only have $5 left from the YouTube, from the YouTube cash, but let's just go ahead and consolidate and add in the $5. 51, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oh no, I think I added money, but didn't color in. Oh well, it's okay. We're just gonna count and see what we have. 50, 152, 210, 11, 12, 13, 213 towards new clothes. I really should pull this money because I just got the boys some new shoes recently, but I'm gonna keep saving this for new clothes for them and I'm actually going to make a shoes tracker because I spend so much money on the boys' shoes. I probably spend more every single year in shoes for them than I do in clothes for all of us. So I don't know why I haven't made a shoes tracker yet or savings challenge, but that's gonna happen soon. Let's just see what we can consolidate here. 20, 40, 50, since I am bringing this money to the bank as soon as I stop filming here. So extra card payment, we have 50, 150, 70. 170 towards a extra card payment eventually. And I don't know if we'll come back later for a cash stuffing, but I might do a very mini cash stuffing over on Instagram because I do want to get some money into the 100 envelope savings challenge and some of these savings challenges that did not get stuffed today. I wanna to get some money in there. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to cut down on the amount of videos I'm doing every single week. And I guess I should clarify when I say that, I'm talking about YouTube videos. YouTube videos are so much to edit. They are my preference, I love YouTube, but if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me over there because I think I will be putting out more short videos and occasional like smaller cash stuffing just to check in with you guys because I, very much love being present with you guys and checking in a lot. I'm just splitting time now between Instagram and YouTube. And on YouTube, it's so much easier to get out some smaller content and be able to put more time and energy towards creating new products and the paper planner line, which has been my dream, you all know, for a while now. 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm just consolidating some of these bills, getting the smaller bills to the bank. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's find a 10. Okay, the 100 envelope savings challenge has the same amount that we started with. We just took out the smaller bills. 51, 52, 53, 54, 
55, 550, 60, 61, 62, 63, $563 towards the 100 envelope savings challenge. And I know that all of this is a lot, but these are two sinking funds and savings challenges, basically, now that we're doing the monthly fun money, and then all of our sinking funds are here. Oh, this is so cute. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about the, uh, I'm excited about the binders, but I'm equally excited about the new design of the savings challenge or the monthly design here. Um, all of this is, is a lot, but keep in mind, all of this money here is going to the bank to pay off next month's bills. We will restart this binder next time you see me cash stuffing here on YouTube. This will be all empty. We will be stuffing, I guess it'll be more like April 3rd. April 3rd or 4th is the next time you will see me for a cash stuffing on YouTube. And this will be empty because we will be saving for the next month's bills. Okay. So these are three current binders. I think if and when I add anything in, it is going to be a weekly spending binder. I really miss having a weekly binder with like weekly money. Maybe we will, maybe we will use this binder. We will see. Also, we need a box for our penny challenge. I have known for a while that this in this way just does not make sense. I love that I've totaled up the penny challenge having to do with like it's, it's by weekly amounts. So I love the idea that I've started here. I'm going to have to branch out though and offer something a little bit different because I'm going to be getting a box or something to organize this. If you have suggestions from Walmart or Target or somewhere that I can get a box that would be ideal for a penny challenge, let me know where to go. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I hope that you have a lovely week. Don't feel in any way that I'm disappearing either. I know I said I'm trying to step back from YouTube a little bit. I'm just trying to make each video really count, make my time with you guys worth it. So hopefully the videos will be a little bit lengthier and hopefully there will be more like substance to them. And I am on Instagram way more. So I'm still around. Definitely go find me over on Instagram. The links are below if you want to follow me there and I will still be around on YouTube. I am trying to get more products out on Etsy too. So I should be a bit more present on Etsy as well. So that is it for this cash shoving. As always, I love you. I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.